I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Razaban if I have TV proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're here in Camden Town with me, George Mitchell, who fights next week on the Sky Boxer card. George, how are we doing, mate? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Yourself? I'm good, mate. I'm good. It's cold outside and it's very hot inside. Very sweaty in here, there's a lot of people in here. Like most gyms. Um, yeah, uh, like as I said to you off camera, I didn't know you were fighting next Saturday night, but uh, fourth fight, fifth fight? Fifth fight, yeah, fifth fight this one. Um, I think Spencer got me on the show, so. Got there, put performance on, hopefully we work from there. Obviously I've seen you, I was going to come to a bit there, but you've mentioned his name. I've seen you on kind of Spencer's stories and, and, and stuff like that. So how's that teamwork gelling up? Spencer, he wanted to get into the management thing. So now Spencer's my manager. So thanks to him, he's got me this opportunity. And now it's just my time to, you know what I mean, shine and put performance on. Four fights in, I know you made your professional debut, talking about 2019. Yeah, it was, it was around that time and then COVID hit. And then it was just all, do you know what I mean? I should be on at least fucking six, 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 seven to eight fights now. But COVID hit for two years, I didn't box. And then I boxed twice on the Dean White show and then the MTK show, and now I'm here. So Tell us a little bit about yourself. What kind of fighter are you? Kind of, what, kind of, what got you into boxing, etc.? Got me into boxing. I was messing about my old man and that. And then ever since, you either love it or hate it. So I ended up falling in love with it. And then what kind of box? I'm not, to, to be honest, not being thinking of it, I can... I can box, I can fight, I can, I'm, I'm, I'm a kind of fighter that adapts to anything. So, if they come forward, I can box, if they want to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I'll go toe-to-toe, -to -toe. do you know what I mean? Obviously, the middleweight division is thriving in the UK, as it, as it has been. Obviously, worldwide, as we know as well, um, Ben Eldenzi went our way last weekend. Uh, was unlucky, but put on a great performance. But do you, do you see yourself eventually getting to that level one day? Yeah, 100%, definitely. I'll definitely be at that level one day, but I'm still young. I'm only 21. It's my fifth fight. We're going to see what happens next year. I'll leave it to my team and we'll work up. I'll about 100% I'll be at that level one day. So are you kind of an open person at the moment in terms of promotion wise? You've got no one promoting you officially? No one promoting me in a minute, but hopefully after this fight we'll see what we'll have a little sit down with Spencer hopefully we get a little deal with Boxer and that that's, that's what we're planning I know you're training with Deji's trainer uh, uh, as well um, how's that going? yeah it's a bit mad isn't it? I just got back from Dubai I was out there with them it's all yeah, it's, it's just good isn't it it's all a bit mad but yeah when we got Deji's performance last week Listen, it's Floyd Mayweather, innit? You can't knock him. No one's gonna go in there and beat Floyd Mayweather, do you know what I mean? But he done well, he got in the ring. He done well. He gave him a black eye, so. Yeah, he, he did talk about the black eye. But when I was seeing some content uh, from Deji and, and obviously being trained in, in, in the gym, he was trying to mimic what Floyd does in terms of, you know, shoulder roll, quick reactions, etc. And, and he said, and I, and I saw a quote where he said that, the way to beat Floyd is by being Floyd. Yeah, just Deji, believe it or not, Deji, I've spotted Deji, he's a very, he can slip and slide, he's good, he's good at defensive, but, but at the, do you know what I mean, he's Floyd Mayweather, you, you ain't going to beat him, do you know what I mean, he's one of the best boxers to ever do it, so he's done well for what he's done, do you know what I mean. What do you think the whole, cir the whole circle, I'm about to say circus, but the whole circle of kind of, kind of YouTube boxers and, and, and stuff like that? You can't knock no one that gets in the ring, they're making big money, Next I, don't, I don't think you could ever knock, they're doing what they're doing, they're, I, I think it's good. You can't. You, how can you knock someone who gets in the ring? You've got to have gut to get in that ring. So yeah, you can't knock them. Do you see him continuing Deji for a while now? Hard to say. Do you, do you feel like Deji will continue fighting in the ring? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I, I think that's just gave him that extra boost. You know what I mean? So I think he's, I think he's have a rest over Christmas, and I reckon he'll be back in the ring soon. I know. I know it was obviously Floyd Mayweather fighting on Saturday, but you had obviously KSI there. You had Jake Paul there. You had Andrew Tate there. You had everybody there. Um, so they've got a lot of. They've got a huge fan base. Very big fan base. You don't. When I was there, I didn't feel it was a bit big. The whole arena was sold out. It's mad because where I've been with Deji, the whole thing is you walk anywhere with him, everyone's chasing him, pictures. It's a good fan base. It's, it's a lot of his kids as well, but it's it's their fan base, isn't it? So I'm sure they'll be following you soon as well. Hopefully one day, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully so. Uh, Joe, what can we expect to see next Saturday? Uh, great performance. I'm going to go out there. So, I mean, whatever he brings, I'm going to adapt to. So, we'll put a performance on. George Mitchell, IFL TV, thank you very much. See if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it, and this has been like a therapy session.